Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the Wii what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vagils and today you are watching Web API Benchmarking Rust Tide vs Rust Actix Web. So I was requested to check out this uh, framework, the Tide framework, and this is what we are going to do today. So these are the two endpoints that we will use. This is the so the Actix web and this is the Tide framework. Uh, here is the terminal. Uh, this is the API Tide as you can see and this is the API Actix web. They are both running. Uh, before we start benchmarking, let me show you quickly the code for the Actix web. This is the code for the Actix web. We have the same uh, data, the same model. As you can see, we create 1000 users uh, with this data and, and we return the, the users to the user when he visits this URL. So this is the code. Uh, a, um, a significant difference regarding Tide is that it uses the async STD, as you can see. And it is not using Tokyo like uh, Actix Web or Warp, etc., or the frameworks that we have been checking out uh, so far. Uh, and something important that I saw is that uh, uh, the async STD does not provide uh, many options to configure the runtime, uh, in contrast to Tokyo, which provides. Uh, a configuration regarding the workers that you want, the, th the threads that you are going to spawn. Uh, I don't know if there is a way to set up this uh, this runtime uh, in async std, but uh, with some casual searching that I performed, I did not find uh, a way. So keep that in mind. And another thing that I want to share is that I have not run it myself previously, so I don't know the result of this benchmark and I have not run it because I was having problem using the Apache Bench for some reason. For some reason when I was using Apache Bench on the Tide framework I was getting a NOS error, so I could not execute requests. Uh, so I tried to resolve this problem and I indeed resolved this problem. We will use another binary, another uh, tool. But uh, the result of this is that I do not have any knowledge regarding uh, the, um, the outcome of this benchmark. So we will uh, both uh, learn together how these two perform. So let's start with the first benchmark. And this is the what we will run. We will use the OHA binary, which is an Apache Bench clone, let's say, written in Rust. We will execute 1000 requests to warm up the system. And then this is the command that it is suggested to run. We run latency correction, disable keep alive for our URL, and we will perform 1 million requests with 1000 concurrent requests. So this is our setup. So let me come here, let me prepare the system monitor. And we are, let me also disable this and then we will enable it. And let's start. So we have a problem here, as you can see. Uh, let me Yes, we have a problem here. I had a problem with the command. Uh, I was missing this slash here, so it did not execute correctly. So let's restart. And now we are running. Uh, let's see here our resources. A API tied CPU utilization 65% currently memory 22 megabytes the CPUs are quite uh, used as you can see which is very good 
This is the most CPU utilization that I have seen from all the benchmarks regarding Rust at least. We were always under 50% with Tokyo and the other, uh, the other frameworks. So now, yeah, we are done. So let me get this. This is the summary. Copy. And let's prepare this one. Let's kill this. Let's run this. And let me get the command. Uh, Actix web. Copy. Uh, so again we are uh, warming up the endpoint and then we execute 1 million requests with 1000 uh, concurrent latency correction, disable, keep alive, etc. etc. So let's run. Let's see here the CPU utilization is very low compared to Tide as you can see. The memory is a little more, which is interesting. Yeah, this must be a, a runtime thing because Actix Web is using, as you know, the Tokyo runtime. And you see the utilization is not uh, on par with the Async STD runtime, even though we don't have many configuration options for Async STD, yet it, per it outperforms the Tokyo runtime, according to what we see here. And we will have to check the final result, of course. So let it run. And let's see what we will get. We are about to finish, as you can see here. We are done, so let me get this too. So, copy. So that I will have them. And we are ready to start uh, our, our comparison. Success rate, one. So everything was successful. Total, 52 seconds. Total 78 seconds for the Actix web. So Tide is, is winning here. Slowest 7.2 seconds. Slowest 15 seconds. Fastest 5 milliseconds, 3 milliseconds. Average 500 milliseconds, 700 milliseconds. Request per second 9. 15,000, 12,000, so a lot of a great difference here. Total data 94 gigabytes, 99 gigabytes, 99 kilobytes, 104 kilobytes. Size per second 1.81 gigabytes, 1.26 gigabytes. So Tide seems to perform better. And we don't need Viber, so let's kill Viber. Let me... Viber, let's kill Viber, okay. So response time histogram. Uh, 709,000. This is the first time I'm using this tool, so I don't really know how to to interpret these things, these, um, these stats. But I suppose, yeah, this is the number of requests and this is time, yeah. So you can see the numbers. I suppose 500,000 requests needed uh, this amount of time and here this amount of requests needed this amount of time. 
So overall, it seems that Tide is better here. Here latency distribution, let's check it out. 10% in 0, 0.035, 10% in 0, 0, 0.021. Yeah, these are approximately similar, I would say, as you can see. Here tide is a little better for the 50%. We are better here. Uh, 133 for 75, we are better here. Yeah, this is better too. Yeah, so overall again better. And do we care about this thing? DNS dial up. DNS look at. I don't know if we are interested in this. The numbers seem quite similar. <clears throat> and the status code distribution 200 uh, for all responses for all requests and responses, 200 for all. So yeah, so as you can see, uh, again, I repeat, I use this tool because with the Apache Pens, I was getting uh, OS errors, so I could not perform requests. And it seems that with this tool, Tide is outperforming Arctic Web by a substantial number, I would say, not just outperforming, but the difference is quite substantial, as you can see here the time taken and the performance of Tide. So this is a surprise for me. So kudos to Tide and async STD. So let's uh, let's proceed to the WRK now. Uh, uh, we will start with Actix Web since we have it already running. Uh, 30 seconds, 1000 concurrent requests. So let's start and let's see how it goes. 49 CPU, memory 126. Fifty percent, 126. Mm, 50 percent 126 still and we have our result let me copy the result copy and let's get uh, the wrk4 for this api 30 seconds again and 1000 uh, concurrent requests let's kill this and let's run this and let's execute. And let's see what we will see. So the utilization, as you can see, is better. Again, we are at 78%, 80% of CPU utilization, which is a lot better than Actix Web and the Tokyo runtime. And the memory usage is 42 megabytes, whereas it was over 100 megabytes for Actix Web. So we're done. So we are better both in CPU utilization and memory usage. Again. And let's comp compare. <clears throat> Latency 44.50, max latency 324, max latency 118. For the average latency tide is better, request per second 4000, request per second 3026k, 3.26k. Uh, max 10,000 requests, which is impressive, max 3.74k. Total request 716,000, 583,000 in 30 seconds. 
67 gigabytes red, 58 gigabytes red. Request per second 23,700. Almost 24,000. Request per second 19.5 thousand. Transfer rate 2.26 gigabytes. Transfer 1.93 gigabytes. <clears throat> so the stats are a huge surprise for me. Uh, kudos to tight uh, to the tight framework and obviously to the async standard runtime which makes a, an exceptional uh, job I would say I did not expect such results given also the fact that as I said there is not much configuration not many configuration options regarding the runtime but it seems that it is uh, doing an exceptional work regarding the output and the throughput. So kudos to to Tide and to Async Standard. Um, so this is all the information that I wanted to share. I hope that you will find it useful and uh, I'm always uh, looking for forward to your comments. And also if there are experienced users with, uh, with Tide and Async STD or in general anybody that can provide uh, any input regarding the the, fre the benchmarking in order to uh, improve let's say the output or the throughput of the Actix web I am always open to suggestions and to comments so thank you for watching and have a great day